Hello everyone and welcome back to another Crafty Decor Adventure. Welcome if you all are new. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you some DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget-friendly late summer decor crafts. So I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I even love to shop at the thrift store and find some fun outfits. Check out this um, little necklace and this cute summer top. So anyway, I want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work crafting and decorating. I feel like crafting and decorating is so good for your heart and soul. But without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For this first DIY, I want to share with y'all how to make a super easy late summer bow with some sunflower ribbon. Now, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, but you're just going to measure the ribbon, the length from your arm to your elbow for a lantern, and then you're going to take and loop that ribbon over on itself, and I counted a couple of loops on each side, and then I'm just going to find the center. I'm going to trim off this bottom edge right here and then I'm just going to pinch the little ribbon here in the center and I'm going to zip tie it together. I've really been using zip ties a lot on my ribbons and bows. Surprisingly enough you can always use floral wire and also um, a pipe cleaner will work as well. I just find zip ties hold that ribbon on really well. Okay so I love to get a good fluff in on my ribbon and again I did get this ribbon at Hobby Lobby but I'm just going to take the ribbon loops and pull them out and I really have needed some bright beautiful sunshiny colors in my life right now so if you guys are looking for something that is a pop of sunshine beauty check out your local craft store for some beautiful sunflower ribbon or any ribbon that makes your heart smile I'm gonna zip tie this ribbon to the top of my lantern and then I do want to trim off a little section of the ribbon to make some tails to make my tails and to make my tails look a little bit better I'm going to take and just cut a little triangle in an upwards direction and twist it to where both of the pretty sides are showing out and then I believe I zip tied the entire thing to the top and then covered it with um, some of this um, just pretty Dollar Tree ribbon so that is going to give me a really nice beautiful fluffy bow and the secret to my bow is lots of fluffing I play with the bow quite a bit to really get it nice and fluffed well. And then um, I also do love to add in just some florals to the center of my bow when it comes to making a lantern. And I'm just really loving all these beautiful, happy yellow sunshiny colors. They're gonna go so pretty with the pops of blue that I've been adding to my living room recently. So now I'm just gonna take some sunflowers from the Dollar Tree and I clip them off at their stems here. And then I'm just going to bundle them together Together. So I kind of put several of them end to end and then I'm going to take a zip tie and just zip tie the center of this and that's going to give me kind of like a little faux swag here. Um, you could always again just use some wire or whatever you have on hand that will kind of hold all of this together. Um, and so I did add some cute little blooming sunflowers and again I've just been so in the mood for some really beautiful bright pops of yellow. Now I hot glued this to the top. You can see I'm kind of hanging on to it to get it to stay. Um, and then I did add some of these little white flowers. I wanted to say that they're daisies, but they're not. And I cannot remember what they're called. You guys will have to drop a comment down below and let me know. But these are some pretty flowers that you guys can mix into some of your fall decor um, or late summer decor is what I meant to say, but we are going to be heading into fall with some of our crafts in the upcoming weeks. So I guess in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, to start edging in some of those pretty um, bright colors. And again, you don't have to necessarily use the brighter colors for fall. You can pop into your local craft store and really find any ribbon you love and just add some beautiful blooming florals. So I added some smaller little um, mini mums, I believe these are, and then just those funny little um, little balls on a, on a pick. <laughs> and then I popped in this flickering flameless candle into my lantern, and I find these on Amazon. I'll link my Amazon store in the description box of this video for you guys and there you have that a beautiful blooming late summer lantern and then what you can do is once it gets closer to fall you can add in some pretty pumpkins and some brightly colored orange sunflowers or just some of those fall mums and so it's going to be kind of a multi-use creation 
For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to create a really neat and easy little late summer kind of dried floral arrangement. So I'm taking this larger vase from Walmart. I think it was about four or five dollars. I'm going to pop some of this raffia into the center of it. And I got this from Dollar Tree. And then Dollar Tree is carrying these beautiful dried florals and they were in our crafting section. And so I just unwrapped a couple bundles of them and I'm just kind of gently placing them down inside of um, the raffia. Now I did end up pulling them back out because I felt like that I needed to put some moss in there to kind of give it something to hold in there. The, dr the dried florals, you really can't use use uh, floral foam. So I thought that this would be better. Um, but I did end up using several little bits of the yellows and blues and I didn't pull them all apart um, because I wanted them to kind of stay in their dried formation. And I didn't want them to flake off, but I ended up using the little dried um, smaller florals in and around the base of the floral and then pulled some of the taller ones up to give it a bit of dimension and then just had the longer taller ones in the center and this is super easy and you can kind of play around with it till you get it to where you like the way that it looks and this is something you would probably see at a kirkland's for much more than about ten dollars is what i probably use to make this 10 to 12 maybe um but i think it looks really nice now this is a faux fireplace so no worries here and i probably would display it on the other side of these books um but very fun and fabulous on a total budget. For this next DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a beautiful, easy Dollar Tree blooming floral arrangement. So I'm taking this really pretty blue planter. I picked this up at Tuesday morning for about $14. And I'm going to take some of these Dollar Tree sunflowers and I'm going to pop the sunflowers in to the base of the planter. Now the planter was rather deep. And so I decided to leave the stems on instead of remove um, the florals from the stem. So I'm just laying it, layering in some sunflowers and then some of the little mini mums. And I used white and green for the mini mums and then these pretty little white flowers. I really feel like for my late summer decor, I always love to do pops of yellows mixed in with some whites and then you can even add in some browns. Um, this is just a fun idea to begin to transition into our fall colors and then you could pull some of these out or even add to it with some pretty pumpkins. Once the fall hits, I will probably remove the white flowers and add in, you know, some more fall colors. But I'm really interested to see how I love the yellow and the blue. And so far, I think it looks really, really nice together. Now, I did really bundle this up. You guys know me. I love to go over the top. In fact, really, when I do my floral arrangements, I even get inspiration from bridal florals. Now, all I'm doing is adding in some greenery. This is just some of that Dollar Tree greenery moss. And I'm even using some of those little white foam balls that come on the pick it gave it some dimension. I'm not sure how crazy about them I am. I guess I'm just not used to seeing them in my arrangements, but I think it gave it kind of a whimsical fun look. You guys are gonna have to comment and let me know what you guys think about those. They are new to Dollar Tree, so I thought it would be just a fun idea, and I really like to change things up a lot and share with you guys some new ideas. So I just stacked them on top of, or I stacked the arrangement on top of these thrift store books and then mixed in some of these pretty little red pillows. I actually bought them off of Facebook marketplace total blessing and they're really pretty and then of course there's Benji Bear he was snoozing on the job but he later picked up his uh crafting skills by completely destroying some of my little mini mums not part of this arrangement though I will tell you that so for this next DIY, I want to share with you all a super fun and easy kind of creative little candle stand. Um, I'm going to take these little candlesticks from the Dollar Tree and these really pretty little amber um, glass pieces. And I'm going to hot glue them to just the top of the candlestick. Now, I don't want it to be a super permanent hold for this. I just want to make sure that these little votives don't pop off of the candle 
holder super easily and I probably should have removed the sticker. I don't think that these are going to fall apart because they're just gonna be for display. But if you wanted them to have a really permanent hold, remove the sticker and use E6000 glue. Side note there. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of this ribbon. I'm going to wrap it around the base of the candle and this is just ribbon from Dollar Tree. And um, then I'm gonna add these really chunky, bright, flaming sunflowers to the front of them. I just thought that that would be fun. And I do have some really pretty reds in this new rug that I got. It has like reds and blues and creams. And so I'm just gonna pop this on to the front of this candlestick and this is totally optional you guys know I really kind of love a big over-the-top look so you guys could use a smaller flower on the front of the candlestick or no flower at all I'm not going to use this for candles I'm actually going to use it for the really delicious smelling little acorn um, kind of fall pumpkin potpourri that the Dollar Tree had put out I just thought that'd be a fun whimsical way to display it and I think it would be nice to set on either side of like your dining room table and put a tray in the center and then just have these let's call them blooming candlesticks so they come on a clip, so they're super easy. Now, it'd probably be better on a larger candlestick, but I was trying to use Dollar Tree supplies just for this DIY. Um, but just a little side note there, they're a little bit oversized um, for this project, but hey, I think you could put them in a cute little arrangement, have fun with it, get creative, use whatever you guys have on hand and that you love, and then add in your pretty potpourri um, to the center part of this. And you guys could always make your own potpourri. That would be a fun DIY. I don't think I've ever done that before. So you just have to comment and let me know down below um, if you've made your own potpourri. I'll be interested to know that. I've never tried that. I'm not for sure why. But anyway, I'm just popping the little potpourri into these cute little vases. And I hope you guys are enjoying some of these fun DIYs wise kind of late summer I don't even want to say early fall yet because gosh it's not even <laughs> July 4th but hey fall crafting is going to begin soon as well as Christmas crafting I said it we're going to do some Christmas in July as well so get ready for some fun and fabulous DIYs on the way For this next DIY, I want to share with you how to make a super easy, adorable little mini sunflower wreath. Okay, so I'm going to take this cute little sunflower ribbon. Again, I did get this from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to make a quick little tuxedo bow. So to make the tuxedo bow, you just take the ribbon, and you loop it over on itself, and then pinch it in the center. And I just use a zip tie to tie it off. It made it a little chunky. I'd probably go back and use floral wire next time, but I've been crushing on zip ties recently. They just hold everything together so well. And so now I'm just going to zip tie my little tails on. So I cut some tails and just make sure you dovetail those ends, give them a nice little finish. Now I'm adding a cute little Dollar Tree sunflower to the center of it and then just some of these cute little Dollar Tree mini mums and that is going to be it. Now this is a super easy, fun, simple little wreath. My idea for it is to pop it into one of my three-tiered trays. I thought that would be a really cute or just any little space that needs some jazzing up and some happy fun vibes you guys because I'm really crushing on these bright beautiful colors that just bring sunshine into my heart and I hope it does yours as well. The little Dollar Tree mini wreaths are for sale at Dollar Tree in their um, crafting section and they come two for a dollar so I just wrapped it in some of the little Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. Um, so anyway I hope this inspires you guys to create something beautiful for your summer decor and it lifts your spirits. Now as always I ask that you you guys um, comment down below the answer to my secret question I am giving away a, a Hobby Lobby gift card $100 for one of you guys so I'll be announcing that soon I'll leave the details down in the description box below but the secret question for this video is what is your favorite fall 
color. I know I said it, oh my goodness, fall. But I wanna know if you guys are decorating with maroons, yellows, oranges. Comment down below, let me know. Drop some emojis. Let's light up this comment section with all the happy vibes and love and just goodness. And I love y'all and I thank you so much for being here. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. I hope you are truly inspired to keep up the good work crafting and decorating. Not only can you make your homes fabulous and amazing, but it's really good for your heart and soul to just keep on going on that crafting, decorating, and even healing journey. So if you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I am a DIY crafty mom, and I love to inspire you with budget friendly crafts and things that you guys can do that are fairly easy. I do share all different kinds of decorating and crafting styles. So just keep in mind, you guys can always change up the ribbons and the florals and whatnot to match your own home decor. So anyway, I love y'all to the men and back. I want to thank you so much for being here. I also want to invite you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel, punch that bell. It will update you every time I post a new video. I post three DIY videos a week on YouTube, and sometimes they're just like little hauls and different things like that. Um, but I also post several videos a day on Facebook to keep you guys inspired. It's all Olivia's Romantic Home, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and all that kind of fun stuff. So I just want to keep everybody inspired to craft and decorate on a budget. Um, I just try to make things, everything as accessible and relatable as possible. So I love y'all to the moon and back. I can't wait for our next video. Um, remember that you always, always, always have a voice. So use your voice for something good. Always try to leave kind comments on people's videos or messages or just wherever you're at. Do your best to keep going and be kind. So I love y'all. Thank you all for being here. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And we'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye. love you. Ooh, ooh.